Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. How y'all doing? We're out here. We're about to talk about something that uh, popped up on The View. One of the ladies on The View had a take on uh, Caitlin Clark. I'm going to show y'all that video real quick, and then I'm going to come back with my piece. You know, I've been a, a, a basketball fan since I can remember. I played basketball with my dad in Harlem when I was five years old. Uh -huh. so I, I remember loving the game and the game not necessarily loving women back. Right? At all. And, at all. And um, the WNBA started in 1996. Uh -huh. First games played in 1997. It's 2024, and we're just really just. now talking about yes. it. And so if Caitlin Clark is the vehicle that will bring this sport that I have loved so much and yeah. so long to little five-year-old girls playing in Harlem, I say yes, bravo. Yeah. I have no problem yeah. with that. With that being said, I do think that there is a thing called pretty privilege. There is a thing called white privilege. There is a thing called tall privilege. And we have to acknowledge that. And so um, the, part of it is about race. Because if you think about the Britney Griners of the world, you know, why did she have to go to play in Russia? Because they wouldn't pay because her. Because they wouldn't yeah, pay her. Because they wouldn't yeah, pay her. Not because she was black, but because they didn't believe well, well, in that. In the WNBA. This is, this is part of my point. So yeah. now, you know, Caitlin Clark is bringing this money, these sponsorships, we hope, we hope into the league, and other players will benefit yeah. from it. But I do think that she is more relatable to more people because she's white, because she's attractive. And unfortunately, there still is that stigma of against the LGBTQ plus community. 70% of the WNBA is black. They're a third of the players are in the LGBTQ plus community. And we have to do something about that stigma um, in, in, in this country. I, I think that people have a problem with with basketball playing women that are lesbians. Who cares? They are great athletes. Well, you can't tell a lesbian unless she <laughs> tells you she's a lesbian. Because it's not like you look over and go, oh, there's one. There all right, boom, so check it. <laughs> Let's not paint this narrative that the WNBA is not doing well because the players are mainly black and and lesbian. Like, let's not do that. That's a dirty game that you playing when you when you try to say when you try to take it down that road. Cause that's that's it's not true. That's not the reason why the WNBA is not doing well. That's not the reason why the WNBA can't play its players. It's not because they're black and it's not because they're lesbians. Let's just keep it G. The WNBA cannot play as players simply because people are not watching the games. That's the whole reason. People are not watching the games. People are not going to the games. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that's the main reason. That's basically the only reason. Adam Silver, the, the, the commissioner of the NBA, said that the WNBA lost $12 million last year. That's $12 million that the NBA has to cover. So when the WNBA loses money, the NBA has to cover that in order to keep the WNBA afloat. The league, simply put, is not profitable. It's not a profitable league. So on one hand, you have a league that's not turning a profit. They're losing approximately 10 to $12 million a year. And then on the other hand, you have a league that's making $10.5 billion a year. Of course the WNBA can't play their players. They're not making any money. 28 seasons of the WNBA, and they have never turned a profit, not one year out of the 28 seasons. Yes, it sucks. Obviously, it would be nice if these women can make just as much money as the NBA players, but it's impossible when you aren't making any money. It's impossible. The league isn't making any money. How can they pay you? They can't afford to pay you more. You want to see the league make more money? Watch the game. You, go watch the game. Go watch the WNBA game. Buy tickets to WNBA games. When the playoffs is there, watch the, watch the season. Learn the players' names. Learn about the players. If you want the league to make more money, watch it. But if you aren't interested, can the league be mad at you? Or do they have to be mad at themselves? They got to be mad at themselves because you simply aren't entertaining us. We are not entertained. We don't want to watch it. I've watched a couple of NBA or uh, a couple of WNBA seasons as a kid, and then I realized like I, I'm not interested. So I just stopped watching it. Is that my fault or is it the league's fault? And there's a hundred ideas that people have to try to make the league more entertaining and make it better, so that people 
decide like, hey, let me watch this. This is actually entertaining. But those things are things some of them don't want to do. For example, I, I know they had in talks like dropping the rim a little bit so that the women can start dunking more often. And that would bring viewers, but the women just weren't interested in that. They want to keep the hoop where it's at. But imagine you being a salesperson and every single year you lose your company's money. You're losing money for your company every single year. And then you say, hey, I need a raise. I want more money. When somebody else is covering your losses every year, that doesn't make sense. You can't ask for more money. <laughs> it, how does it make sense? How many companies you know haven't turned a profit in 28 years and they're still able to pay their employees? You're getting paid and you aren't making money. I mean, I feel like you should be grateful. Like you're 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 making you're making money. You making money more money than the average person, and the average person is working for companies that's making money. I feel like if you're somebody who feels so strongly about this, then support the league. That's that's the best thing you could do is support the league. Like I said, watch the games, learn about the players, buy the jerseys, wear the jerseys, go to the games. When the game is on TV, turn it on. Watch it. Watch the whole game. That's how the league is going to generate more money. But until people start doing that, the league is not going to make money. There's a lot of women out there who say, oh, they should be paid more and they, they, they feel like it's not fair. But these same women, ask them if they're watching the games. I know a couple of, I know a couple of women who do watch WNBA. I think I know like two or three who actually watch the WNBA. But the majority of you are not watching it. Ladies, if y'all want <laughs> if y'all want the league to make more money, then name a couple of players for me. Name a couple of teams for me. How many games have you watched this year? You know what I'm saying? Like support support the league. The reason that the league is getting more attention now is because of Kate and Caitlin Clark. But I mean, she's a little bit more entertaining to watch, right? The girl shooting the ball from the logo. She's shooting from the low. She's shooting a bit from the damn near half court. And it's going in. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little bit more entertaining. She can shoot the ball from anywhere. It's more entertaining. That's why eyes, more eyes are coming to the game now. Get more women like this. Then people are going to slowly start watching the game. I'm a little bit more interested in, interested in the WNBA because of Caitlin Clark. And it ain't got nothing to do with because she's white. Or what did she say? A pretty privileged... Well, she ain't attractive to me, <laughs> but I'm a little bit more interested in the league now because it's a tad bit more entertaining with somebody that can shoot the ball from the logo. Let me see women getting dunked on, dropping the thing from the logo, crossing each other up and somebody falling. That's going to be a little more entertaining. That's something that people going to watch, men and women. It ain't got nothing to do with because they're women. It has nothing to do with that. So with that being said, <laughs> if you want these women to make more money, Turn the TV on and watch the game. Support the league. Caitlin Clark is going to get a little bit more money because people are watching the game now because of her. There's a couple. There's more people watching it now just to watch her play. So yeah, she's going to get a little bit more money. It makes sense. It's not because she's white. It's not because of pretty privilege. She's a little bit more entertaining. More entertaining to watch. But yo, that's all your boy got. You know what I'm saying? If you hate me, let me know that in the comments. If you like my take, let me know down in the comments. Give me your thoughts. I would like to read them. And that's all your boy got for today. Until next time, peace.